Hey guys, it's Max. Today we're taking another look at the brand new 13 inch razor blade stealth. Now, not only is this thin, it's light, three pounds. It's slightly thinner than a MacBook Pro. I like how it looks. The trackpad is quite nice, the best in any razor uh, laptop, but we also have a quad core CPU, which is awesome that we can have a quad core in such a small laptop now. But the biggest unique feature is that it has a dedicated graphics card. So we have the MX150, four gigabytes of memory, and this is the 25 watt version. So in a previous video, I unboxed this. I looked at all the features, all the updates, did some benchmarks, and I compared it to a 13 inch MacBook Pro. Now, a lot of people that want to have an ultra light, thin laptop, now we have quad cores, but the biggest downside is most of them don't have dedicated graphics cards. So when you start you doing some tasks like productivity or gaming, video editing, it just kind of falls apart because of that. So that's where this thing comes into play. And today we're gonna look at the gaming aspect and see how it performs in Fortnite, uh, Black Ops 4, and what I'm most excited about, and that is uh, Battlefield 5, and see what kind of frame rates we can get and what settings we can pull off. Now, I do have a link to the exact model that I am testing in the video description below if you guys want to go and check that out, and I'll also have some other links like the gaming mouse that I am using as well. So, let's get into it. So, it looks like Fortnite gave us 720p rendering at medium quality uh, overall. So... Huh, not very impressive. Let's turn on our frame rate counter here. Alrighty, so it looks like we're sitting right around 60 frames per second. I have vertical sync off, but it must still somehow be on because we're pinned here at 60, not going above. Right off the bat, I have to say the graphics suck. 720p at medium settings? No, not very good. Uh, but we'll see if we'll be able to make that better. Okay, I don't wanna play at 720p because this display is 1080p. So let's set that to 1080p. And the graphics definitely look a lot better. And uh, frame rates looking like 50s, 49, 52, 58. It's jumping all over the place, but... Can I please kill him? No. <laughs> So since I'm so terrible at this, let's just follow this guy around for a little bit. <laughs> it looks like we're in the mid 50s and it's pretty consistent here. Uh, and since we're running at 1080p on such a small display, 13 inch display, the graphics look pretty decent. Let me see if I can go in here and let's change everything to high. I got motion blur off. Alrighty. Now we're sitting at 44. 41, 35. Yeah, this is this is too low because as soon as you get into any type of a fight, if you're dipping down that low, you know, you're not gonna get very smooth results. All right, so now we're in our 30s, 33, 32, 40, 33. I personally don't like to play that low. I know a lot of console gamers do, and the graphics definitely look nicer, but I personally would not run at the settings. I would keep it at medium. So. MX150, the 25 watt version with Fortnite, we're looking at roughly uh, 1080p medium settings, and then you're looking at mid 50s. So pretty decent experience. All right, now for something much more my style, we have Black Ops 4. Let's go into the settings and see what was decided for us. Interestingly, refresh rate at 30 hertz. Hmm, I don't like that. So let's change that back. Um, 1920 by 1080, so 1080p, that's good. A uh, render resolution at 66. So is that like somewhere between 1080p and uh, 720? So it looks like both of those games, Fortnite and Black Ops 4, are saying, hey, you don't want to play with in 1080p <laughs> with this uh, laptop. So that's not good. So let's see what we get. This doesn't really inspire much confidence. <laughs> so we're at 47, 46 here. And it's just not very fluid. I don't know what's going on. It just doesn't doesn't feel right. The frame rates aren't that bad. I mean, they're low, but they're not, you know, lower than consoles are. But something with the screen tearing. I don't know if it's drivers or the game or something else going on. That just does not feel good. I don't know. Something just feels off about it. it does not feel normal. It doesn't feel good. It almost feels like slow motion or something. I don't know. 
Maybe it's just the fact that the graphics are turned down so low and I'm not used to that. So to be honest, I am a little bit disappointed. I was expecting better results than this, uh, looking at the OpenCL results. And of course, those don't have to correlate. Obviously, they don't. Uh, but I was expecting a little bit better performance than this. Playing at 1080p at low and very low settings and we're in the 30 frames per second and it's like almost like I'm constantly getting a little bit of some kind of a glitching or slow motion which could be due to some other issues but uh, I don't think this video is gonna be very long like some other ones I've done just because this is not an enjoyable experience at all. Um, I guess I should just go throw it into 720p like it was kind of recommending and see what happens. All right, so for a final test, I switched over 720p and everything looks terrible in the menu. See, I can barely read the names. I mean, look at this. I can barely read the text <laughs> that is right there. It is what it is. I mean, both Black Ops and Fortnite set it to 720 rendering. And uh, wow, the graphics look terrible. Aliasing everywhere. Now, frame rate is in the 70s, 60s, 90, 70. Um, so the frame rate's a lot better, and yeah, this is definitely a, a smoother experience. Now I can actually feel like an, I can actually game, even though it looks terrible, but uh, at least I'm not getting some slow-mo stuttery playback. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, come on. Where are ya? So what I've just realized is that a lot of people are going to be misled. Now, I should have known better, and I knew it wasn't gonna be that good of a gaming machine, but being from Razer and being dedicated graphics, um, you would think that it would perform semi-decently. Now, if a laptop costs this much, and once again, I have a link in the video description to it, it should be better, be able to play better than 720p, honestly. Um, you should be able to play at low settings at 1080p and have a decent experience, and that is just not the case uh, with this laptop here. If you're gonna be getting an external graphics card unit, what's the point of getting the model with GP? You can spend less money. Mm. But if you wanna get the higher RAM and the higher kind of configs, you are gonna be buying that uh, better built-in graphics card. Now, there's still kind of some hope if you are gonna be using this for, say, video editing. And if you uh, haven't checked out my other channel, I will link in the video description. Uh, so I'll be testing out how it does with 4K video editing uh, because that's one area where we don't have a lot of options. Something uh, small and light now with the new Intel CPUs that are quad core and having a dedicated graphics card. And with the OpenCL scores that we're getting, I am expecting to have some pretty good uh, video editing performance compared to just say like a MacBook with the integrated graphics. All right, so now onto what I wanted to do. That is Battlefield 5. And unfortunately, I am having no luck at all. The game will not launch on this laptop. It says I need to upgrade my drivers. And I've tried three separate drivers and they all say they won't upgrade with this version of Windows. And I just updated Windows and no other updates are showing up. So I don't know what in the world is going on. It is very late. I have been at work uh, other than some breaks for 13 hours today. Um, yeah, so <laughs> let's just say uh, I am kind of done with this laptop. I'll give you guys my overall opinions I think that this laptop is not a good gaming laptop. Um, unfortunately, I think a lot of people are gonna be fooled by it having that dedicated graphics card uh, because, I mean, it is dedicated. It does have four gigabytes of RAM. And uh, when you actually go and start gaming, just based off of the kind of the benchmarks that we saw and uh, both um, Black Ops and Fortnite, they give you 720p. And playing 720p for something that's this expensive is very unfortunate. And if you guys saw our PC build that we did, I'll put a little card up here if you guys are disappointed by the footage in this video. You guys can go check that out. Uh, that thing actually performed really well. A PC under $500, uh, way better than, than what this thing is performing like. So if you're somebody that's actually interested in gaming, I would highly, highly recommend 
not getting this version here, going for the 15 inch model. I know it's heavier, I know it's larger, but it's the same price and that is gonna give you a 1060 Max-Q graphics card that's gonna perform way, way, way better than this. Now, like I said, I still have some hope for it. Uh, for those of you guys who want to do some productivity, say photo editing or what's more in my side of kind of the world is video editing, I will be testing this out on my other channel. I will have a link in the video description but man, playing back at 1080p, low and very low in Black Ops 4, that is quite disappointing. This has been Max with Max Tech. I'm very tired. I'm going to be heading home right now. <laughs> Thank you guys for sticking around this long, and I'll see you in the next video.